X. Oh, they got the alley. Whoa! Gotcha, bitch. What the hell was that? Wait, whoa! Whoa! That's a hit confirmed! Woo, what is up geeks and gamers it's your boy game boy color here with some more awesome and epic content with the into the q universe let's play q a i got my boy qmg in the building what is good with you because fighting games um have been in the news a lot lately with the release of some more information on street fighter 6 and we actually got a not only gameplay but also a very good looking cinematic trailer for Tekken 6. I thought it would be right that we play a little Tekken, I mean, I'm sorry, Tekken 8, that we play a little Tekken 7 and go ahead and get some Q&A and talk about what we think about the FGC and think about fighting games as a whole right now. So QMG, you ready to get some Tekken 7 in there? Not only am I, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so yeah so i guess i'll start with the first question qmg what are, when do you what is your first earliest memories of fighting games and like some of your favorite fighting games growing up as a kid oh uh, my earliest my earliest my pearliest uh fighting game stuff of marvel versus Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. That's like the earliest one. Yeah, and then it kind of just goes from there with your, uh, with your murderers row. Oh, really? and we go random select starting it off, and I get That's Kuma. You. That's you. You pick random. I know. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you can't. But we started off right with the Shodos. But yeah, now Marvel. Yeah, definitely growing up. You know, as my brother, we both played some of the most almost the same amount of games fighting games and ever since i can remember i think that's like our first real genre of game playing like because our uncle's a big gamer as well big fighting game player especially back in the day early 90s and i can remember playing marvel versus capcom mortal kombat 2 well mortal kombat 3 um for sega genesis i recall playing ex alpha street fighter of like, course of course i remember playing uh in at the super nintendo mortal kombat games yeah so back in the day so yeah facts <laughs> who's your favorite mortal kombat character uh scorpion i i was a Liu Kang guy but over time i've dibbled and dabbed in a lot of other characters like ermac and noob cybot but i think um fighting games is definitely a great way but you know i can't let you win yeah Hopefully y'all can Ooh, wake up, Shar. You. Hopefully y'all can see the gameplay. I know you see our faces in there. Oh, thank you for reminding me. You know you can't go wrong without who playing the show though. Yep. We're playing the industry standard. Uh. I have to sidestep those. I mean, he would pick the objectively. <laughs> I picked, a, I, I picked a random, and I can recall this was your main at first. Yeah, but I learned he's very, he's very top tier. Oh, wake up, DP. Wake up, DP. Oh, I tried to wake up, DP. He's very, he's absolutely, he's like <laughs> S tier in this game, Oh, good block. Uh-oh. Oh. As you can see, we are very rusty. I mainly just picked this gin because he this is my favorite gin. Yeah, so taking four. four. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Raging Demon. Let's Whoa! go! <laughs> That's a sidestep right there. 
I don't know what the hell happened there. That was a sidestep and a half. Raging uh, that was, baby. That was not meant to like raging. Oh wow. Oh, I'm 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 selling. I am selling with that char you. Ooh. I am selling. Oh, I am selling. So, would you say Tekken Four is your favorite Tekken? Um, no, I say this is. Yeah, I would say so as well. But if we weren't counting this one, because obviously it's the most polished. Um, no, I, I still say this one. Like I know, you know, because it's the most polished. It has, but. and it has almost every character to ever appear in any other Tekken. Yeah, I, 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 I say Tekken Four was like the first, even though I, I kind of played a little bit of Tekken Three when I was a young gun. Mm -hmm. This is the one I paid the most of. Like Four was the one I was like yeah. really grinding, if you can, if I can say that. Yeah. Oh, got to block it. You got to take that. That's death. I didn't even Rock. realize you were. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize you pressed the. That was the. <laughs> I thought that was just a regular jab. But that <laughs> block was, strings, baby. <laughs> Raging demon block strings. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah. Whoa! It ain't a raging demon, though. <laughs> I knew what you were trying to do. So. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it. Alley kicks. Got him. Whoa! That's so crazy. Lights out. That's so crazy. But yeah, so speaking of Akuma as a Shoto player, um, how do you feel Switch about characters? Yes, of course. Um, how do you feel about him being included in Tekken Seven? Do you think that he was a good addition? A uh, great addition, a fantastic addition. To be quite honest with you. Yeah, I think he molded really well with the game. Like uh, I know a lot of people didn't think that Shotos could mold really well, but I think that he molded really well with the game and the style. Especially with the rate, the speed that they did the fireballs at, add another <laughs> level to the game of dynamic. But back to it's your turn to pick a level. Oh, okay. Um, Precipice of Fate, of course. No, Infinite Azure. You already know how we do. But yeah, so back to just gaming in general. Do you feel like fighting games? What do you feel like they're honestly the one of the top genres of gaming? Like the community, not only the community, but the quality of games. Where do you feel like it stands in your mind as a gaming genre? Um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. it's the best of the best. It is one of the ones that are pure. Like it's anyone can hop in and feel powerful and just have pick a character that looks cool and just go from there. Yeah. But I'll say this, um, as far as what I think it is, and like in terms of the grander scheme, grander scheme, it is still very niche. Yeah. Unfortunately. I could agree. Armor, wow. baby. I wasn't even expecting that to hit doing an attack. Woo! Oh, shit. Doom Greasy. 
Nah, don't get up. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, <laughs> sidestep the track, Damn, baby. That's crazy. Hey, Hachi. <laughs> Like the, was... the son of Jimpachi. Now, I know um, since we're... Ooh, low parries. I got those. But for people that don't know, me and QMG used to be super competitive in fighting games. We haven't been in a long time. But we used to be very competitive. What are some of your favorite moments of us playing fighting games? Um, Just the games we were playing like just, do you have uh, any moments in mind uh, just the fun I would have and the stuff like that just having fun and playing the fighting games I can't wait till the comments hold me like y'all are definitely low tier <laughs> I just realized this was a video and not a live stream <laughs> Bro, if that kills. Of course it will. Once more. Oh. Haradasan. <laughs> He's Haradasan in the flesh. That tracks. Oh my god, fang on her armor. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Mishima style. The, the, the high, and high low, low mix. Up. You gotta pay attention. Let's go. So, a question I have for you is well, it's a, it's a very simple one. What is your favorite fighting game of all time? Um, That's tough. I have a couple ones that I hold a very high regard. I would say maybe Soul Calibur 6. I really like it a lot. And then I would say Street Fighter 5 is really fun. Um, some of my favorites, I just feel like Soul Calibur 6, all it needs is rollback netcode, and it will probably have a resurgence. Well, I can confirm that it will from from all of the people who've uh, spoken to Capcom. Yeah. They said that, yeah, it'll be the an advanced rollback netcode system that was in... Um, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have rollback. And I feel like it'll have a resurgence after that. I feel like just right now it doesn't have it. Ooh, let's wow. go! Okay, I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm gonna obviously have to stop doing that. <laughs> but no, Street. I think Street Fighter Five is was really a great mechanically done Street Fighter. I just feel like that it didn't have the it didn't have the right launch. Whoa, it didn't have the right launch, and because it didn't have the right launch, it kind of gets overshadowed on how actually how good it is. Yeah, because that rising tiger kick is stupid. Bruh, Fang, God, oh. Jesus, Fang, what the flip? Little flip. Harada-san, ain't it? You Harada-san in the flesh. Let's change them characters. But yeah, I, I think that Street Fighter definitely is probably one of my favorites. If I had to go with somebody, um, Soul Calibur Six is a close second to me. Um, I like Mortal Kombat. No 11. more random. No more pick. Just no, nah, because I don't really play. I haven't played them in it, so it ain't gonna matter who I pick. To be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I honestly think that Street Fighter Five is, and I feel like Street Fighter Six is gonna be really good. Um, I did a video on it. And it looks like it's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to have a lot of content. Um, all these games. No, but let me be 100% honest. If I have to, if I'm going off a of strictly the best fighting game, that's not just my own personal opinion. I would say Dragon Ball Fighters is a really good game. Dragon Ball Fighters is like overall all the way real rounded like great uh, uh great animations great mechanics great fighting great presentation great characters great cutscenes great story like if you really want to get to the nitty-gritty of a game that's unbiased i think dragon ball fighters is like the best fighting game like i i i, I would say this I, I definitely have very high uh a very high opinion on dragon ball fighters as well 
Yeah, definitely. Like, I, there's nothing bad that I can say about it. And it's getting rolled back. Like, there's literally nothing bad I can say about that game. Yes. Like, all the mechanics are working. Yeah, you have some unbalance, but you'll always have that with fighting games. Double Rapun, yeah. Can I get some electrics? This gen doesn't have that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Predictable. Can you get a predict? <laughs> Predictable. I don't know what geese do like that. <laughs> Predictable. Um, another question I have for you is what is the what is the most disappointing fighting game you've ever played? Disappointing. <laughs> Grand Blue Fantasy. Grand Blue. Is that what it's called? I believe so. Yeah, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Get off me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I ain't got the combos. Wow. <laughs> Let's go, Jen. That low. <laughs> but yeah, Grand Blue, I thought it was going to be more exciting than it was, and it wasn't. I'm surprised to hear you say that. A lot of people, a lot yeah, of people just, like the Grand Just for Blue. me. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan of it. Whoa! <laughs> gotcha! Predictable. No, but no, I wasn't yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Graham Blue. Um also a game that I put time into that I was really excited for that didn't last as long as I wanted it to. Injustice 2 for me. Like after the initial hype for it, it just kind of felt like it was It just felt like a whole bunch of projectile based gameplay and I wasn't really into it. Yeah, I can that game is up there for me. It's a nice game if I want to play um, something, you know, a little bit low stakes. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be a low. Dang it. I put low. Grab. Oh, oh, shit. It whiffed. And he's still. He's still. Oh. Take this. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he, uh, but no, yeah. And Justice 2, it was so. The hype around it was very high at the beginning. Yeah, because it, it, you know, was Nether Realms' first big game after MKX kind of set the world yeah. on fire, and they, you know, a lot of hype and expectation. I would say, yeah. I would say, 2017 overall. Gotcha. It's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, disappointing year for DC content all around, with the yeah. exception of like Wonder Woman, which is like the only thing that, which was like the only thing that did like what it was supposed to. Um, I don't even know that was going to be a running grab, but, um, yeah, I feel the same way about, I grinded injustice all of that launch year. Yeah. And it was like, I was grinding it because of the game, like the stuff you unlock, not because I thought the game was fun. Yeah. So it was, you know, there's that. And you put um, a lot of time with that game in, in the CPU mode. How did you feel about that? Was that a, a good mode for you? Predictable. Um, you mean like the bots playing yes, against the bot. each other? Yeah, that was more of a means to an end type thing. Like, it was like when you get tired of dealing with the annoying stuff from the when you get tired of dealing with the and the annoying stuff from the game, you just let them do that because it was got so tedious unlocking stuff in a traditional sense that yeah. you just stopped wanting to do it, you know, yourself. So you just went to the CPU. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's like I, I, I can admire what Netherrealm was trying to do. Armor. Damn, I thought that second hit was going to break it. Ow. Oh, I thought I was far enough. You I weren't. I was far close no, you were not. <laughs> But yeah, so Injustice is really, yeah. Number two. Number one did, it was expected. It did really well. Yeah, number one, I, I, like, I, I dig number one a lot, but number two is very disappointing. Yeah, facts. So yeah, we got Street Fighter. Like I said before, we finally got a lot more Street Fighter Six confirmations. We got Ken. We got a full roster leak. Um, I know you've been keeping up with the stuff that we've been seeing from it. 
Um, what are you most excited about with Street Fighter 6? And is it a day one buy for you? I'm excited. Literally everything I've seen has me excited. Like literally everything I've seen. Oh, wow. That's that low. <laughs> but yeah, literally everything I've seen from Street Fighter 6 has me excited. Yeah, it sucks that um, the uh, the leak stuff that happened, um, the, the, the leaks that happened the day of the first real trailer for it back at the PlayStation Summer uh, Showcase. It sucks that that was uh, that that basically spoiled everything for the game. But, you know, oh, yeah. wow, I thought that was me that had that. I blocked that. I blocked that. You did not. No. Oh, um, my God. But yeah. Oh, I'm that they actually did what I had wanted them to do, which was um, which was reveal the um, full roster soon and not later than change character. Yeah. Um, that was something that I had wanted them to do because I figured that if everything was leaked anyway, don't drag it on. You can now focus on just gameplay stuff. Yeah. Which is what they ended up doing. Um, so, yeah. You, you got to pick a level. Um, which is what they ended up doing. So, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad everybody now knows the launch roster. Yeah. Um, for those who saw the leaks, you now know who the four DLC characters are. The f first four DLC characters. If they're DLC characters. They, they might do something wild and crazy stuff. Yeah. But... I feel like now that Capcom has just shown their hand about what the roster is, they can now focus on showing the game modes, the way the character plays, just do more character showcases. Um, just do more character showcases that focus on the gameplay, which is what I feel like a lot of fighting games miss. Yeah. Huh? Yes, we're doing a video. Can we see? Ooh, wow. You already know how Bob getting down. Oh, but that's Eddie. Oops. I got those Capoeira kicks, too. Oh, oh that's crazy. That's Eddie. Like, Eddie is like black folks kryptonite in the hood back in the day. Yeah, you just only had to learn two buttons. <laughs> He was so crazy, and he people thought he was random, but he's not random. Oh my God! No, you gonna have to take this. I did not give it to him, Bob. Yeah. Dang right. Oh, he comes out with. The Come here. No, no, no. Doing greasy, Bob. Got him. Um armor. No armor. What? I, dug, I jump it over, went over it. It went over it. Woo! That's Represent Brazil. Crazy. Let's go. That is wild. Let's go, Bob. You're going to wake up pretty early in the morning to get old Eddie Gordo. Air kick. Do him nasty, Bob. We blocked that. You do not. <laughs> Welcome to Brazil. Do him dirty. Uh oh. I don't like that. Oh. No, no, no. We knew he was going low again. I knew he was going low again. All right, let's get into it. That tracks. Wow. Yeah, we could both crumble. Korean back dash. Bro, I am overextending them combos. Yeah, you press something. <laughs> I grabbed you. Oh. Armor and wait. Give it to him, Bob. Gah. Give it to him again. Wow. I, I Give it to him again. I could have sworn I hit my button first. <laughs> that's all good. That's all to the good. You know what I'm saying? So. Bruh. And it's like all his junks crumple. Oh, my 
my god. I Man. I <laughs> nice try, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> nice try. Wow. Catch that. So that kick. But you mentioned rollback net code. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that has to be the industry standard moving forward? The rollback net code? Well, as of right now, yeah. Because right now it's the. Oh, whoa, I messed up. Oh, you blocked it. As of. Ooh, killing him. Crack, crack. As of right now, rollback netcode seems to be the best course of action for fighting games. Um, for people who don't know, rollback netcode is the way that the frames delay for the fighting game. There's a certain, I don't want to get into all the techniques about it, but it just makes the game um, run smoother for both, both parties. And it's been implemented lately and on most fighting games. A lot of them even that had, didn't have rollback to begin with are getting it now. And I think that it's going to be very interesting to go forward. It's almost as if every game needs rollback. And a Huda can run up. <laughs> but yes, rollback is a necessity now. I think a lot of games are getting it. Even games that didn't initially come out on the next gen consoles. Yep. Like Marvel vs. Capcom has gotten the rollback. And I think that's very cool. Those lows, boy. Come here. Oh my god, I gotta take that. You press something. I'm safe. Oh! No! Man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. That's wild. Now we, hey, I've been playing, playing, playing random, letting, they, letting them get too many wins about me. You know I'm competitive. I don't like that. I don't like that. I told you to get <laughs> I don't like that. Now we gotta, rah, we gotta give it to him now, y'all. We gotta give it to him now. Oh, that way. We gotta give it to him now. Now, there you go. Oh my God. Which Akuma do you deserve, actually? Silver Akuma with the uh, Saint Sire armor. <laughs> it's Yogo. I didn't pick the last eight stages. Loser picks the level. <laughs> that's what it's. That's what it's. Tournament settings. That's what it is. It's literally but, like. But no, I think that neck rollback neck code is a necessity. Like I've spoken before, I can't wait till they do it with Soul Calibur Six. It, I think it's gonna have a resurgence because um, for as good as the game was compiled, I think without rollback neck code, it suffered through online play. Um, I think because well, it has a. That's if Bandai Namco does it for yes. Us. <laughs> because they very well because you know Bandai Namco is late to the party and the only reason fighters is getting it is because you know that's a damn Akuma got a gun <laughs> what don't let me remember how to use it We've been playing with the little screen all the time. This is just crazy. Oh, God. We, that was that was something else. Oh, shit. And this is the hypest jump. And now you done brought it back. Oh, shit. Alley kick. Okay. Let's get it. Give him oh. that dirty. Ooh! Get off me. Oh, God. Punish. Punish. Oh, fuck. let's go. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. We can run it back. We can uh. run it back. We can run it back. You lucky. You lucky it's on you. That that... It's on you. Oh, yeah. 
You lucky my raging demon flipping <laughs> missed or I would have had. So what um some besides Street Fighter Six and Tekken Eight, are there any other fighting games that that haven't been announced or that you're excited for that have been announced? Is I'm uh, very excited for a couple of them. Um, what what are you thinking about? What's some of the fighting games you're excited about? Um, I am. Um really just excited for those two games and the Project L League of Legends fighting. Yes, I'm very excited for that. The guy, uh, the black guy that uh, can control time. Oh, that's my man right there. Yes, and considering that the Cannons, one of the founding fathers of Rollback Netco and the FGC in general, they're the lead designers on it. That's that's very that's very um promising. That was good low. That was nice. Fudge! I was going to no, do it. I, I know you were, so that's why I threw that out. We're <laughs> still recording, Quincy. Okay. Oh, shit. No, you don't. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, that's the right. That's primarily the only one I know. Netherrealm may, may or may not make, say, make an announcement about their next fighting game. Yeah. But personally, I'm not excited for it. MK11 burnt me too bad, and their lack of effort, in my opinion, all e equally burnt me bad. So, nope, you don't, because I know what you were trying to. What? Rolling what? Sobot Kick. Rolling Sobot Kick. Okay. All right. Okay. Get off me. Okay. All right. You're getting. Me. Ah, I tried to get him dirty. You're getting that in. This is king, baby. Rawr. Ah, that shot you. Woo but yeah, um. I know, um, I know NRS has something planned, but I'm not. I need to see a lot more from them before I commit. Yeah. To being excited for. Yeah. It. You know what I'm saying? No, sir, Rebob. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just gonna do this and call it a day. I was finna dodge it. It's tracks. Okay. Rolling so bad. Oh, I tried to explode her. Okay. That's certainly a combo. Yes, sir, it is. Tried to do one dirty with the clothes on. Guess what? Wait, whoa, whoa, what? What? Rah, that way. What? Why Rah. did my attack animation stop? <laughs> what the hell of it was that? But yeah, I think fighting games are just like some of the most, like you said before, exciting genre. Just the fact that you can do so much. Okay. Uh, DDT. And it makes everybody fit. Anybody can feel like a superhero just by picking up the controller and mashing. It just feels so good. Oh, wow. I could have sworn that was going to hit you. And don't you dare sidestep. <laughs> wow. Boy King, man. We up there. All right, let's go. I'm tired of all of this running. <laughs> I'm tired of all this running. Oh. Rolling so bad. Oh, wow. I tried to get him with the clothes on. Uh oh. I'm still in the air. Raw. Raw. That way. Yeah. <laughs> Doing greasy. Oh, Alley God. kicks. 
Oh, they got the alley. Whoa! Gotcha, bitch. What the hell was that? Wait, whoa! Whoa! That's a hit confirmed! What the heck? Nah. I guess before we get on out of here, one running back one more time. Nah, that was a hit <laughs> confirmed. That's always been a hit confirmed with Akuma. That was. So what are your, what are your, some of your favorite characters from the Tekken franchise as a whole? Uh, from a whole. Um, and then some of your favorite fighting game characters. Uh, well, I'm just gonna start right with this guy, Akuma. Um, he is the like Akuma and Street Fighter, uh, in Tekken, yeah. Jin, Kazuya, goddamn, you know. The Mishima uh, squad, yeah. Yoshimitsu, and um, in general, like Soul Calibur and stuff like that. Siegfried, Gillick, yeah, Scorpion and Mortal Kombat. You know, basically, if you're the protagonist and you look <laughs> cool, I'm your guy. I, I mess with you. Ken in Street Fighter 2 can't forget. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I could say um, some of my favorite characters, obviously, um, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Ryu, Ken, um, some of my, my more obscure ones, Cervantes, I really like Cervantes, Maxi was really cool, but I was more of a fan of Cervantes and Soul Calibur, um, Mitsurugi was my main though, so I really love those type of characters, Mortal Kombat, let's get it. Uh. Wow, Olympic Slam. Come on. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, so obviously King. I really like Fakuram. I'm surprised you didn't try to play with him. I haven't played him in a minute. I got to go back in the lab with him. I haven't played Tekken in almost two years now. I know I could get some mileage out of King, though. King's that guy. And it's Monday, so that's oh, apropos because it's Monday Night Raw Day. <laughs> um, MKX, I play Ermac. Alley Kicks. Raging Demon. No! Fuck all that bullshit. I tried to jump. That's the only thing, bro. If your life low and my life low and you get your rage are before me, <laughs> bait it out. Oh, wow. Oh, he's getting. Look at all that damage. Wow. I see they nerfed the, uh, they nerfed the focus attack. Partner. Yeah. That joint was broken day one. I mean, uh, version one. Good combo. You didn't do it. I enough. jumped. Yes, I did. Oh, I jumped. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, still Ooh, got the tip of it. That's cool. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Brain stomp. Ooh. Wow, that's crazy. No oh, shit. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, you know shit. what that mean, don't it? Oh man. Rah, that way. Please don't kill. I did not. Yes, I did. But you landed, so no, it, I didn't. it meant nothing. It <gasps> meant nothing! Die a thousand deaths. <laughs> it meant nothing. Nothing! That is wild to me. I'm out of here. Look at that rolling sobot. Oh, the teleported to the... Are you... Get wow. back down. No, no, no. Oh, alley combo. 
You ain't got enough damage on me. You gotta. Oh! Scale, 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 scale. I don't care. Scale, 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 scale. They just killed? Are you kidding me? You gotta know the secret tech, ladies and gentlemen. Vays and gays, and everybody else would be watching this joint. That is wild to me that they just scale like that. Come here. Oh, wow. Thought I broke it. <laughs> Man, he gets that Sharyu combo hard. I'll take that. No, 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 no. Come on. Take that. Oh, God. Are you serious right now? <laughs> no, sir. You already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. <laughs> you already know what time it is. That's crazy. I'm going to get my goddamn win. That is wild. That is wild. What's the score? What is the score? That's wild. That is crazy. They just did that to me like that. Well, they did that to me, you see. Two to five. It's all good. We'll play another Q, uh, Q and A. Let's play. We'll be doing it again. It might not be Tekken, but that'll never happen again because Fakaram's going to come out and do work. If you say so. <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in. Man, this is an awesome Q&A. Let's play our first one. Um, we didn't do Into the Universe because we wanted to do our first Q&A. Let's play. I think this was really awesome. So yes. thank y'all for tuning in. We'll be back. You already know it's GQ Smooth. Always on our P's and Q's. And you already know how we do. If yes. you liked it, leave a comment. Leave a like. It'd be much appreciated. Thank y'all for tuning in. We signing out. Peace. Peace.